Foreign Minister Julie Bishop, a rare female voice in the Australian government, said on Sunday that she had quit the front line after a failed tilt at the top job post during a messy party party. Bishop had put her hand up to be one of three candidates to replace former Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull in the challenge of leadership, but received support from colleagues even as polls pointed to her popularity among voters. Her departure has raised questions about whether she is a victim of political politics and a perceived glass ceiling for women in Canberra. I will be resigning from my cabinet position as Minister for Foreign Affairs, Bishop said in a statement, signifying her intention to remain on the backbench. A moderate. She reportedly won only 11 votes out of 85 in the leadership ballot, significantly less than the two other right-wing challengers. Coup d'état instigator Home Minister Peter Dutton and Treasurer Scott Morrison. A leaked WhatsApp chat between some Liberal members, released by the Australian Broadcasting Corporation on Sunday, showed them pushing against voting for Bishop as a tactic to back Morrison, who eventually emerged as the winner. Australia has endured a turbulent period in politics that has seen six changes in the top job in 11 years. The chaos has highlighted not only the infighting within the two major parties, Liberals and Labour, but also how politicians and the electorate view women in power. One of the casualties was Labour's Julia Gillard, Australia's first female leader, who constantly struggled with misogyny and made international headlines for her fiery rebuttal of then-Liberal opposition leader Tony Abbott in Parliament in 2012. Bishop has been candid about her experiences as the only woman among 18 men in cabinet after Abbott won national elections in 2013. It was pretty lonely, the former lawyer said last year, adding that she would suggest ideas that were ignored until copied by her male colleagues. Tireless work ethic, the male colleagues would suggest, exactly my idea, exactly my initiative. And the others would say, brilliant, what a genius idea, she said, putting down the behavior to an unconscious bias. Quote, it's almost a deafness that we still see in the Australian society, she said. A trailblazer who was Australia's first female foreign minister and the first female deputy leader of the Liberals. The 62-year-old was hailed by her peers Sunday. Turnbull tweeted that she was an inspiring role model for women here and around the world. Her labor partner Penny Wong praised her tireless work ethic, adding that her commitment to standing up for Australia both here and abroad has never been questioned. She is widely regarded as the dead stare, as Bishop's highlights as her foreign minister's strong condemnation of Russia's role in the downing of Malaysia Airlines MH17 in 2014. Meanwhile, Australia's new Prime Minister began his first full day of Saturday with a phone call to Donald Trump as he set about restoring faith in his battered and bruised government after a tumultuous week. Trump congratulates new PM Morrison was sworn in as the country's 30th leader late on Friday after a bitter Liberal Party revolt against moderate Turnbull driven by a hardline conservative faction. The former treasurer, a Turnbull ally who upset the right-wing challenger Peter Dutton in the internal party ballot, said he had had a warm chat with the U.S. president. Had a great discussion with that real Donald Trump this morning, he tweeted. We affirm the strength of the relationship between the U.S. and Australia, Morrison said he shared with Trump the story of Australian soldier Leslie Bull Allen, who is a symbol of our 100 years of mateship. Allen famously carried to safety 12 wounded Americans during an attack on Japanese positions at Mount Tambu in New Guinea during World War II in 1943. President Donald J. Trump spoke last night with Prime Minister Scott Morrison of Australia and congratulated him on his recent election, the White House confirmed. The two leaders underscored the importance of bilateral partnership between the United States and Australia. They also pledged to continue to closely cooperate on the priorities shared by the two countries, it added.